when we talk about nestle india what do you think a solid company a great moat you know that company has given a lot of uh, return to their shareholders that is what normally a retail investor think but guys when we see the figures something else is reflecting now of course the quarter two results is out and no it's not great and the stock has fallen all we know that but over the years you just see the date of you know what type of return nestle has given and know what type of expectation is then what type of delivery they have done see why i'm talking about this topic today because we everyone has a thinking that okay you have to buy a stock with a great moat but we normally do forget one thing that is the growth so let us talk about nestle in detail just trying to understand you know what type Type of stock we should avoid and what type of stock we should get into it. Talk about Nestle, guys. If you see the last, uh, no, ten years data and everything. Okay, uh, the overall the sales figure. Now, just I'm talking about sales G and profitability, and then I'll talk about the stock price. What, how it has gone up. The sales in last ten years has gone by ten percent. Profit growth has gone by thirteen percent. and overall the 10 years the cagr is 15% that is decent 10 years but let us talk about now recent 5 years in 5 years sales has gone by 17% profit has gone by 20% okay 20% but what is the stock price giving you 10% okay less than 10% cagr return when we talk about last 3 years 22% sales growth 24% profit growth but what is the uh, growth in last 3 years in the stock price is only 7% cagr in last 1 year it's almost minus 3% so last 3 years it is given you 5 years it is given you less than 10% return now, now if you are invested in nifty etf or nifty also sense it has given you 16% cagr return why i am talking about this just to make you understand every good solid company is not always a great investment guys the reason i tell you sometimes the stock is already well discovered sometimes the stock is already trading at too much of high pe ratio too much of valuation is high then you always have to think whether i should buy this stock or not like if you talk about nestle it is almost 71 pe okay if you see the over the time over the time this stock has gone up to 88 pe currently it is around 71 pe now when you have this type of pe ratio the expectation is always that company will deliver great result but if the company is not able to deliver result then it is bombarded you see the last quarterly result what was the sales growth 1% ab yaar aise company ke bare mein aap kya bologe bhai 1% aapka growth hai aur aapka pe aa raha hai 88 89 so guys understand if it is an 88 89 your growth should be at least 25 to 30% and above just because the company is so solid such the company like you know what type of products they have everyone knows about it no and this products like no uh, you can say that milk products which is almost 40% of their total uh, volume is like dairy product milk powder and all that okay then uh, maggi basically correct uh, that is almost 32% maggi masala and all that sauces and all that is 32% Uh, confectionery kit kat munch milky bar and all that is almost 70% bill which is 11% now all these are great products all these products we know but sometimes we like wo traditional investing mein bolte hai na ki jo product achhi hai wo product ka aap stock buy kar lo lekin har waqt aisa kaam nahi hota jaise colgate ki baat karte hai colgate has not given you great return over the years yes initially this company has given you great return as you can see here 10 years uh, return is almost 15% but we have to see last 5 years data na 3 years usme usne kuch return nahi diya nestle ne even colgate ne nahi diya kehne ka matlab ye hai ki aap jab stock buy karte ho na guys understand how is the volume growth and what is the valuation just a large cap stock just a well known stock you should not go and buy when we talk about the nestle okay the nestle overall if you see the this Uh, this quarterly the estimation was at least 6% on uh, revenue growth which came to 1% of course their uh, dairy products and all the milk products gone up by a double digit even kit kat and all that single digit but the other beverages and all that no chocolate it did not work and as a result no their overall the revenue was quite down and overall if you see last two years there was always a price hike but the problem mainly what occurred for all uh, nestle was you now that cocoa powder and all that you now then mean raw material prices gone up and which has actually shrink margin actually the pbt is down by almost 
and that is what is the culprit for uh, you can say nestle overall and there are many reasons first of all if you talk about uh, no slowdown on domestic sales that i told you already one person growth okay even uh, if you see the export is grown by only three percent which is not at all acceptable when you have this type of valuation <coughs> demand pressure in large part of your portfolio okay again five of the top 12 uh clock the double digit as i already told but overall other product were so down that it bring down the complete revenue commodity pressure big commodity pressure was there due to coffee and cocoa uh and that raw material raw material prices was quite high and that literally brought their uh, gross margin down again the price of edibles edibles are also reason so that was impacting overall the uh, you know profitability and all that and again some of the employee expense and all that gone down overall ebita overall down by 5% and there was a higher depreciation but when you see all these you no know, uh, this mainly the raw material price and all that it directly hit the gross margin gross margin is almost 57% uh, around okay earlier and now hopefully from here they are saying that as the uh, inflation goes down the raw material uh, prices goes down then the gross margin is going to be much higher. okay ebita margin i uh, know expectation is between 24 to 26 over the next uh two three years and of course the uh, valuation as i told you earlier also no it's quite high now when we talk about this company fundamentally the company is good roe is almost 135 percent okay now do, have you heard about 130 120 percent roe that's, that's something out of the world okay roc is almost 169 percent everything is good okay even last three years data <coughs> sales and profitability is quite good but when we talk about the return that is why it is missing completely see the uh, the only thing which you guys have to understand in this type of stock is you know that when you are buying this type of stock Please understand how is the revenue growth. Revenue growth nahi aa raha hai, to bhai mat jao. Aapko lagta hai kya Nestle wapis 20%, 25%, revenue growth to aa raha hai, chalo. Abhi 1% aaya hai, pehle wo 20% raha tha. Lekin wo profit mein convert nahi ho raha tha. To revenue growth aa raha hai, nahi aa raha hai. Again, to phir aapka P ratio kya hai? Aapka EV by EBITDA kya hai? What is a valuation? If the valuation is high and your revenue is down, guys, it's a complete mystery. Please, please don't buy this type of stock. Valuation matters a lot. Or FMCG में यही सबसे बड़ा problem होता है कि उनका valuation सबका 60, 70 के PE पे उपता है. No, they, no doubt they are consistent giving you return. And they are the stock नो बहुत जादा गिरेंगे नहीं, लेकिन बहुत जादा बढ़ेंगे भी नहीं. तो keep this in mind and then only invest in this type of country. That is what my suggestion is. Anyways, I, I always tell my uh, members you know, to stay away from Nestle because I always feel that I'm paying too much for a small revenue growth and a profit growth. And again, market is not enthu with all these type of figures. Deko, isle wo pade rehte ke See, you may also be telling that why you are so critical about Nestle. I'm not critical. I'm just telling you because, no, I want you guys to earn money at the end of the day. You are here, you are taking this. And in five years, you are getting that, you know, how much 7% or odd return does not make any sense. No, is 10% se return, agar aap karmate, usse beta to aapko kahi ho, NFT mein mil jayenge. So keep this in mind and then you invest in this type of FMCG stock. They are well-discovered stock. They are, you can say, no, they are valued at the perfection. And so much of love is there with the, of a retail investor, they don't want to sell also. So come out of all that, guys, we are coming here to earn money. So... You always have to see what is the profit growth and valuation. Is it matching or not? Otherwise, please leave this stock. So, guys, that's all for now. This short video I have just made to make you understand what type of stock you should avoid. Of course, if in future Nestle started recovering the revenue growth, profit growth, and accordingly P ratio goes down a little bit reasonable, level, I think then it's a buy. So, hope you like this video, guys. Of course, you do your own analysis before investing, guys. Uh, I'm a savvy register research analyst. We do provide recommendations as you can check the below link and attend our session also if you want. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Do like and share this video. If you have any question related to this, put it in the comments. I'll do answer that. So see you then. Bye-bye.